Welcome to the Area Between Curves video tutorial. Example 1. Determine the area between the curves f at x equals x and g of x equals x squared. So we want to know the area between the two curves. Step 1. Load the package Student Calculus 1. This can be done by going to Tools, Load Package, Student Calculus 1. Going on the line below, Step 2, using the expression palette, enter the functions f and g. So let's go to the expression palette here on the left. Let's click on the expression. And here's the function assignment right here. Let's click on that. The, one, the letter that is highlighted here is the function. So f, press f, and then hit tab to go to the right. The function is in terms of x. Let's go to the right by pressing tab again and we know that the function is equal to x, f at x equals x. Hit enter. Let's do the same thing for g of x. g in terms of x, press tab again, is equal to x squared. Enter. Enter the functions one beside the other with a comma in between. So f at x, comma, g of x, enter. And now step four says, using the context menu, go to Plots and Plot Builder. So the context menu opens up right here. Go to Plots, and at the bottom right, we have Plot Builder. It also says, adjust the x-axis and preview. What this means is that by going to preview, we can see the graph, two graphs here, or the two curves. Now this doesn't make a lot of sense because we need to see where the intersection points are so we can determine the area of the two curves in close. So we can see some intersections occurring down here. Uh, let's try to zoom into this region. It appears to be within negative 1 and positive 2. Let's press preview again. And this is a far more accurate view. It seems like the intersection point is at x equals 0 and x equals 1. So let's click plot and there we have the two curves. But if you're not convinced by this method that the intersection point is x equals 1, there is a more rigorous way to determine that. We're going to do a numerical approximation and this is how we do it. Step 5. Enter the difference f at x minus g of x. because we want to know where the two functions, uh, the difference between the two functions is zero, which is really just the intersection point. Hit enter. Step six, go to solve and numerically solve. So let's open up the context menu and go to solve and numerically solve. And this verifies that yes, indeed, the intersection points were x equals zero and x equals 1. Step 7. Enter f at x minus g of x again. And why are we doing this again? Because we're going to integrate the difference between the two functions to find the area between them. So let's make sure we're in math mode. f at x minus g of x. Hit enter. And step 8 says, using the context menu, go to Tutors, Calculus Single Variable, and Integration Methods. The, the difference between the two functions appears as the integrand there. And we want to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals 1, which is what we determined over here. We want to know the area between the two curves here. And step nine says repeatedly click on next step, noting the rule maple applied. Before closing, select and copy all the output. Okay, so let's click next step. And you can see here that, for example, the sum rule has been applied. The integral, in other words, has been distributed over the integrand. Click next step. And we arrive at the final answer. Maple gives 1 over 6 units squared is the area between the two curves.
So let's copy by pressing Control C, click Close. Maple also gives the output of the integral and then its final answer. Go on the line below and you can paste the steps of how Maple got that answer. Example two, determine the area between the curves f at x equals x over two and g of x equals sine of x. Step one, load the package student calculus one. And this can be done by going to tools, load package, and student calculus one. Now going to the line below, step two says, using the expression palette, enter the functions f and g. The expression palette is located to the left over here, and the function assignment is this one over here. By clicking this, the letter that is highlighted represents the function f, press tab to go to the right. The function is in terms of x, and by pressing tab again to go to the right, the function f at x is equal to x over two. Press enter and go to the next line and do the same thing with uh, the function g of x. We have the function g in terms of x, press tab again, is equal to sine of x. Step three, enter the functions one beside the other with a comma in between. So we have f at x comma g of x, enter. Now step four says, going to the context menu, go to plots and plot builder. Let's open up the context menu, go to plots and plot builder at the bottom right. And here it opens up. Notice that step four also says to adjust the x axis and preview. So to get an idea of what the two curves look like, let's go to preview first. And we can see that the two curves enclose two regions, this one over here and this one over here. Let's try to zoom in um, from x equals negative three to positive three. From x equals negative three to positive three. And let's press preview again. Now we can see that there are three intersection points, one to the left, one at the origin, and one to the right over here. Also notice that y equals x, which is the red line, and y equals sine of x, the green line, are both odd functions, meaning that the area they enclose over here is equal to the area they enclose over here. This makes our job much easier because all we have to do is find out the area, for example, in this region, and just multiply it by two to get both areas in total. So let's focus on the region on the right over here. Let's try to determine its area. And let's zoom into this region. Let's pick the domain from x equals zero to x equals two. Click done and readjust the graph from x equals zero to x equals two, and preview. This is a more accurate view of the two curves. They seem to intersect at a value of 1.9. Keep that guess in mind, because we will use it um, in Newton's method to determine a more accurate number that reflects what that intersection point is. Let's click on done and plot. Step five, notice that g of x is larger than f at x in this region. It's the bigger function, therefore, let's enter g of x minus f at x the difference, as the difference between the two functions, because we want to end up with a positive area, not a negative area. That's why g of x uh, goes first when we're subtracting the two, and hit enter. And there we have the difference of the two functions, sine of x minus half x. Step six, go to the context menu, solve and numerically solve from point. So let's go to solve and numerically solve from point. And you can probably remember that our initial guess of this intersection value was x equals 1.9. So let's type that in 
and Maple gives the exact intersection point as x equals 1.895, let's say. Uh, and Maple gets this answer using Newton's method, which can approximate intersection points. So we're going, going to work with only x equals 1.895. That's uh, quite accurate. Let's go to the next line and scroll down. Now in math mode, step 7 says enter the difference again. Now we're going to actually do the integration. So g of x minus f at x. Enter. Step 8, go to context menu, tutors, calculus single variable, and integration methods. And there we have the difference of the two functions. And remember that we want to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals 1.895, which was this value of the second intersection that we found. And now step 9 says, repeatedly click next step, noting the rule that Maple applies. And so you can see again that the sum rule has been applied, for example. And by continuing, we find that the area between the two curves, the area between the two curves over here, is about 0 0.42 units squared. We can copy this by pressing Control C and then click Close. Maple outputs the final answer. And by going on the line below, we can paste, go to Yes, and we can paste how Maple got that answer, all the steps. But remember that this is only the area to the right of the origin, there was also an area that the two curves enclosed to the left of the origin. And we had mentioned that you can just multiply this number by 2 to get the total area. So the total area is about 0 0.84 uh, units squared. Thank you for viewing the Area Between Curves video tutorial provided by the Maple Adoption Program.